Welcome everyone to Google Season of Docs office hours for the Jenkins project. Let's look at the agenda. Uh, here's what I've got for today. Uh, and Marky said that he will join us a little later. He's running a little late in a meeting. So I had pull requests to review, cloud providers. We had some notes from previous. Um, AWS account went to Zenob. A timeline, concluding season of docs that I have not done yet. Uh, we don't need that topic. What's next after Google season of docs and Anything else that any of you would like to add to the agenda? Nope, I think, I think this is good. Okay. All right, then let's, let's go ahead. So with regard to the pull request, I don't remember if I provided any feedback within 24 hours like I was supposed to. I doubt it, given my poor performance lately. Nope, I did not. Sorry, Zenob. So we've we've got this one open still. Yes. So that holds. And merge or adapt. Okay. Anything else you wanted to discuss on the pull request, Zinab? Um, if there are other things you'd like me to add to the documentation or there are other things you'd like me to do, it's fine if you just comment and I'll work on them. Great. All right. Wonderful. Okay. Good. Okay. Now, are there other pull requests pending? Zinav, I think from you, this is the last pull request for the season of docs in the season of docs, docs timeline. Is that correct? Oh, no, we've got, okay. We've still got one more open and it's been open for a very long time. So we need to get that one reviewed as well. And this was sample data files in the yeah. Jenkins.io repository. Right, I thought the Final. question for that one was where is this really where we want to host the files? But well, let's take a look at that conversation because I thought that the yeah, this Oleg's only concern was that we needed to refer, or his key concern was that it needs to refer to the Jenkins Infra repository and not to Zenob's fork. Yeah, so so I think I think he'd be okay with that, but what I think his concern was that. In this case, what you see is Zenob is referring to her own copy of the repository, not to the copy on Jenkins.io or on Jenkins CI slash Jenkins.io. So I think that would need to be changed, but that's a change I could do or Zenob you could do, whatever you prefer. Okay. Um so why I didn't put the links to the main repositories because the files are not there. So if anyone is trying to review it, it should just lead to an empty page. That was why I didn't, but if you want me to change that now, I could, I could work on that. Yeah, I think, I think we'll have to change it because now, okay, it, if we don't do that, then yeah, it's... it was just for the purpose of review. So if the files are okay, then we could 
because if I put um, links to Jenkins.io, it might be difficult to access the files or see what they actually look like since it's going to be leading to a dead end. But if it's fine, then I can change it now to the main repository. Super, great, yeah, so. Change the destination links to point to master branch on the uh, official repository. Great. Okay. Yeah, excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else on pull request topics? Okay, next topic, cloud providers. So Zinab, you had, had requested, I think, an AWS account. Have you been yes. able to log into it? Could you share with what you've experienced? Yes, I've been able to log in and um, I was able to create um, an EC2 instance and I was able to install Jenkins normally on it. But now to now expand, there's a lot of content. I don't know if we want to have all the content on Jenkins.io because we have creating um, virtual private cloud, creating EKS cluster, adding cluster to scalar and all that before finally creating Jenkins. So I don't know if um, we'd like to have all this information on Jenkins.io or just provide links to um, references or to documentations where they could do this and just um, provide content only for Jenkins, for installing Jenkins. So I feel like that might be too, I don't know, short, considering all the processes that you would have to do before arriving at the installation. Yeah, so we've, we've had, we currently have one tutorial okay. from a cloud vendor on Jenkins.io, and I'm not sure it's it's terribly well suited. It's from IBM Cloud. Um, most tutorials from cloud vendors for cloud vendors are on the cloud vendor site. Mm -hmm. Justin, do you have an opinion there? My thought was to say, uh, let's not put a detailed AWS cloud tutorial, but I guess it wouldn't harm us. And, and right. it, if we have it go in as a tutorial, maybe it's the right thing to do. Would it make more sense to have it as a blog post? Like the one for IBM Cloud? That way it's consistent. Oh, was the IBM think? Cloud one a blog post? I thought we had oh. a tutorial for them as well. Let me look. Oops, let's look. <laughs> yeah, I thought that we had a tutorial oh, okay. here. Uh, where, yes, there it is. Yeah, okay. So we had, cool. but but look, this is an excuse to say if we said we wanted to take Zenob's yeah. notes for Jenkins on AWS, why not? Yeah, I think we, I think we should. It, it doesn't hurt to me. It's like I, it doesn't hurt to have the extra information. I would just not put it like in this getting started guide. I would put it in a separate like like this, like the IBM Cloud one. That was my thoughts one. exactly because yeah. um, the content was much and looking at um, documentation for Jenkins.io, I just felt putting it anywhere there is going to make it feel out of place because right. there's a lot of content on AWS and all that. So putting it in, on the systems administration or managing Jenkins is, you're going to have a lot of con um, content that is out of context. Mm. So that was my thought. But I think since we have something like this, it makes sense to just add another tutorial on that section for Jenkins on AWS. Perfect. Yeah, I think uh, okay. That and that seems sensible to me. I like that. If if the two of you are also okay with it, that sounds great to me. Awesome. Yeah, it felt felt a little weird to me when I initially approved this one because it was the only one of its kind. It would be nice right. to have an additional one. 
Very okay. true. And especially if there's little tips and tricks for getting started on certain cloud, like, you know, this particular, like Amazon Cloud, these are some helpful settings. It, it's helpful to have that specific, specific things called out. So. Yeah, I like that. I think that sounds very reasonable. All right, great. So, so Zina, does that address your question? Yes. Okay. Now, now long term, uh, I'm not sure how long CloudBees is willing to continue donating and reimbursing me for AWS usage. Do you have a plan? Do you intend to continue using that AWS account for the long term? What's what's your your plan longer term? Um, well. For now, I think it's just for Jenkins. I've not really talked about um, long term if I'm going to still maintain the account. But for now, it's just for Jenkins um, development work. Okay, good. All right. So, how about if we put a limit on it? Let's say we'll continue for a month, then discuss further. Okay. Is that all right? That way. That way you and I are regularly checking so that my credit card isn't getting billed too badly and I'm sure that my employer is still willing to continue donating. Okay. All right. Hey, so next topic was Google Season of Docs timeline. So today is scheduled as the conclusion of the writing and now the next part do one week from today. I think it's one week from today. Is that correct? Cloud Drive calendar. The, oh, no, it's this Saturday. Okay, so this yeah. coming Saturday is completion of the project report. Now, Zenob, I confess I'm not sure what, how does a project report look? I've never done this before, so that's the format. For me, I think it's going to be a blog post. Um, probably that's going to contain a full um, summary of everything we we're able to achieve during um, the Google Season of Docs program. Just like the previous blog, blog post we have, only that this is going to be a conclusion. I like that. OK, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, that's OK. That's very good. Then it's public. It's very visible, it helps the project. Yeah, okay. All right, so we'll, we'll see that, we'll see that this week then. Yes. Ready to meet the deadline. So do you think you could, so that I'm, I get it reviewed in time. Could you, do you think, have it ready before the end of the day, December 4th, so that yes. we can be sure it's, okay. Yes. Hello, all. I apologize for being tardy. Meeting, work meeting ran over. Thanks for being here, Marky. Thanks very much. Okay, so Zenob, if you've got, um, if the end of day, December 4th, and then Kristen, Marky, and me, we need to review it so that it's done by end of day, December 5. Viewed and merged by end of day, Saturday, December 5. Excellent. Okay, super. Then the next thing is an evaluation of success and the experience. And um, I'm not sure, should we just do that, begin that in next week's um, office hours? Sounds great. And I think likewise, Marky and Kristen, for you, for, for all three of us, same thing. Do we also want something, our own, assemble our own Google, assemble a Google Doc that we use to, to just to collaborate? Sure. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, and then the following week, we agreed we'd do an office hours. In the office hours, we'll do a retrospective. Still okay with everybody? Yes. Yes. Great, okay. Anything else on timeline before we go to the next topic? Okay, conclusion. So last time we met, we proposed a Jenkins online meetup December 9 to have Zenob, and I think it would be Zenob present and Kristen and Marky and I act as backup vocalists or as, you know, as, as contributing and helping or encouraging or commenting. Would that be okay with you, Zenob? Yes. All right. And yeah, we'll use the usual web webinar format. Now, this one needs an abstract and I haven't sent you sample abstracts yet. So I'll send that today. Sorry about that. Let me put this as an action item from easy nub. Mark, when you send that abstract, are you also going to link just to the steps that need to be taken for presenting the abstract and where to do it and how to do it? Oh, good suggestion. You know, I hadn't thought of that. So that's, I'm not sure I've got a good list of those things. Good. I will draft up a, I'll draft up a list and I will shoot it in an email or whichever form you'd like it to be sent. Great. So this is like a checklist of um, successful meetup items. Yeah, there's a JEP somewhere out there that explains how to do it, but I can't remember off the top of my head what it is. But oh, I can find it. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, that's super. Thanks, Marky. Got it. Okay, great. All right, and Zenob is December 9th still okay for you? Yes. Okay, so it's just, what are we, just under two weeks away? So it's a, a little over a week away now. We're a little crunched for time, but I think better to do it then than shift it out one more week. Okay. All right. Anything else on the concluding web on the concluding online meetup? Okay. Next topic. What's next? Anything that you need to share there, Zenob, or any topics we need to refine there? This actually, and this has the, the Thursday time slot has been approved and agreed on. Uh, Oleg was previously hosting one at a, a time that was three hours earlier than this time, but we were getting no attendance. So that change has already been made on the Jenkins calendar. Um, Google season of docs, office hours. Um, will be Thursday at, I think it is 1700 UTC. And I'll have to look up the exact time. So this meeting will be, will be Kent will end December 17th and we won't do more Monday meetings. We'll only do the Thursday meeting. Everyone okay with that plan? Yeah. 
plus one. Sounds good. All right. That is done. Okay. Any other topics we need to discuss today? None from me. Nothing from me. Everything looks good. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. A number of action items. Looking forward to those. I'll conclude the meeting, post the recording later today. Thank you very, very much to everyone. Cheers, all. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye.